I've noticed that lots of the people I deal with on a daily basis are constantly prioritizing the wrong things in life. One guy I know spends at least half his salary, if not two thirds of it, on drinking and gambling. He enjoys going to the pub on payday and spending a good portion of his money. He doesn't care that the drinks cost $10 or $15 each, he just drinks. I don't know if he's trying to drink away all the problems in his life, but every fortnight, without fail, he sends himself into a stupor. Because payday is midweek, he often comes up with excuses why he can't go to work the next day. I've heard everything. I'm sick. I woke up with the flu. I've got an appointment with a specialist in the city. I've been invited to a one-off meeting in Canberra that I must attend. Sometimes he won't let us know until early morning just before work. For example, at 5am he sends out an email saying that he just received an invitation to a meeting at the Science Centre in another city and feels that it would be beneficial to attend. Obviously he's been out drinking all night and realised that he needs to let work know, so he's come up with some plausible sounding, but still ridiculous, excuse. Obviously he's a liar. Everything that comes out of his mouth on payday or the day after is a complete fabrication. I've heard it all. My wallet was stolen. My phone was stolen. I was just sitting at the bar having a chat with someone and then while I wasn't looking, someone came along and picked up my wallet. The police are investigating, but it looks like the CCTV wasn't pointing in the right direction. The lies are obvious. I'm amazed he thinks that people actually believe him. What is more amazing is that he hasn't lost his job yet. I can't believe his boss lets this go on, but unfortunately, due to a few politically correct policies in place, the guy will never lose his job. You see, he belongs to a minority, so the boss is pressured to keep him on the payroll. To be fair, the guy normally works quite hard. He's capable, he's got the ability, he speaks well and gets on well with his peers. It's just that once a fortnight, he turns into a liar and a drunkard. He gets away with it all because he meets the company's definition of being multicultural and diverse. The funny thing is though, although he spends so much money down at the bar, he still makes these little complaints about food prices at the supermarket. He was going on the other day about the price of mints and that it had gone up from $5.50 to $6 or whatever. He even threatened to change supermarkets because of it. I thought to myself, you spend over a thousand dollars a fortnight on alcohol, which is literally like flushing money down the toilet, but yet you're complaining about a 50 cent price increase on some bloody mints. I just don't understand how he rationalizes it all. Another person I know is studying at uni. She's in her final year, but I honestly don't think that she'll ever be able to graduate. Despite her being a third year student, she still waits till the very last moment to complete assignments, etc. Maths is not her strong suit, but as part of her degree, she must complete a single maths unit. She's already done the course before, but failed. So she mentioned earlier this semester that she's really going to buckle down and do her best to pass the course this year. The other day, she called me up seeking help with her final maths assignment. I just assumed that was due in a couple of weeks' time. No, it was due that day. I asked how much had she done, assuming she just needed a little bit of help to finish it off. No, she hadn't started. It was literally due that day and she hadn't even opened up the assignment. Of course, all the excuses came out. I was sick all last week. My car broke down and I had to take it in to be serviced. The plumber came and took all day to fix my bathroom. I asked if she had sought an extension from the course examiner, but she just said that he refused because she couldn't provide enough evidence. In other words, she wasn't sick and therefore wasn't able to get a medical certificate from a doctor. Anyway, I had some free time that day, so I helped her with some of the assignment. I soon realised that although she might be able to pass all her assignments with some assistance, there was no way that she would be able to pass the end of semester exam, the one that will be held in about two weeks' time. She knew nothing about the topic. She couldn't even answer the most rudimentary maths questions. She's been studying this course now for almost 30 weeks in total, 15 weeks from last year and 15 weeks this semester. How can she not know even the most trivial of concepts? I know why. She hasn't studied. At all. But yet, she was able to buy a new phone and spend a few days setting that all up. She was able to arrange a barbecue with all her mates on the same day that her assignment was due. She goes out to clubs on a Friday night and spends the weekend recovering. I don't know what's going on in her head, but it's not conducive with being a full-time student. The funniest thing is, she spends so much time writing emails, collecting evidence and coming up with all these excuses why she couldn't finish her assignments. If only she used that time to actually study and complete her work, then she wouldn't be in such a mess. Most of the time, the course examiners believe her, or at least pretend to believe her, and approve her extensions. But again, it's all just lies and deceit. 
She might be able to trick a few people, she might be able to get a one week extension here and there, but ultimately, she's only hurting herself. She can't go through life trying to trick people all the time. Eventually, it will all come undone. So there are a couple of anecdotes from my life. I have many more, but not enough time to mention them here. Many of the people around me spend so much of their time focused on the wrong thing. They prioritise drunkenness over diligence, hangovers over self-control. They pretend that they are good students, or good workers, but they spend half their lives coming up with excuses why they can't finish their assignments or reports, or why they can't come into work. Sometimes I giggle to myself thinking about the next excuse they'll come up with. I'm so sorry, I can't come into work today. NASA have called me up and I've been selected to travel to the moon this afternoon. I'll be back bright and early tomorrow. Do you know any people like this? Do you know people who constantly lie just to avoid facing their own truth? Let me know in the comments section below.